Hey, Slow Family, are we rolling? I think so. I just had a really interesting experience just happen. I went to the Goodwill looking for, I can't remember. I asked for a backpack, a small backpack, medium size with like a water thing and I got it. But uh, while I was in there, I was kind of like in my head, you know, walking around and I've got a really cool bedspread for my bed um, for the winter. It's, it's like that faux fur and I love it. The cats love it, but, in the win but now it's really hot. And uh, I had a beautiful blanket that was like, that was my mother's and it got ruined in the, the move. And so I found one just like it. So I'm kind of in my head, you know, I ask for certain things and I, and I don't just get certain things. I get very specific things. I ask for specific things. God, I love this. I wish I had this. You know, it's not too heavy. It's not too light. The cat's claws won't get stuck in it. It's like mom's, right? So I'm wandering around and, and I mean, I'm, I noticed that there's this good looking guy in front of me walking around me you know he'd go up one way and he'd kind of like turn I mean we're all looking around in there but it felt like he kind of stayed around the same area kind of and uh, then this older fellow goes by and he was really funny and he points to my head he goes oh are you security and I said I am today and I laughed and I said no I said it's just I said just in case everybody uh, doesn't see my 25 wouldn't just for those who don't see my 25 foot self and they only see my he goes your what and I said my 3d self and then I just laughed and I, d I wasn't trying to put him down. I was just laughing, right? Because I, I mean, I don't see myself as small. I, I know how large I've, I am. I've seen myself, my higher self. But what's interesting is now I'm talking to you like this. Hold on, I got something in my eye. And uh, while I was in there, um, I'm walking around and I have this little bunny this little statue it was so cute, freaking cute. It was like, a, it's a little black Peter Rabbit. And he's like doing a ro like roly poly, right? And I laughed as I was carrying around. He wasn't like a, a very expensive looking thing. He just looked super sweet. And uh, I say that and the magic goes by right now. And, uh, but I'm thinking, I don't know, I mean, I need all this stuff, you know, I don't need a bunch of stuff. I, and John came over yesterday and said, Did the, you know, could you get rid of half of that? And I'm like, <laughs> but I liked it because I had all these white bunnies. I have a white bunny and I have a, um, a tan bunny and I thought a black bunny would be pretty funny. Funny bunny, bad boy, right? So anyway, I did. I put it back because I thought I can't get everything. And uh, when I said that to that man, the young guy comes up, come, he's younger and he comes over and he goes, because he, when I said that, oh, it's for those who only don't see my higher self, my 25 foot self. And he, when I said that, his head whipped around. He's like, oh, she's awake or she's aware, right? Or maybe he's like, I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know, we don't know what people think, right? So he comes over after that guy, you know, he kind of walks away. He goes, all right, well, I, I surrender, right? And I said, good thing to do, we all need to surrender. That's the message, right? We all need to surrender. And uh, so this guy comes over to me and he goes, so how many levels do you go up? He goes, and I said, pardon? And he goes, how many higher selves do you have? And I said, I don't know. And he goes, and he kind of smiles and kind of looks down, like does this little, like, I know this fucking face, right? It's the flirt face. It's the, I like her, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to act like I like her. So I'm going to tease her. And that's like a really awkward back ass handed way of, of flirting with a girl and putting her down. And I'm like, I don't think you recognize who you're dealing with, little boy. And he goes, well, you ought to get right on that. And I said, yeah, I'll get on it. And then he comes back and he says, what colors are you banging in the war? And I said, excuse me, banging? And he goes, what, yeah. He goes, we, you know, the high council met and you, we need to know whose side, and I said, you know what? I don't think we're taught the same way. And he goes, okay. He goes, I'd get on that if I were you. And I'm like, you know what? There's no ego in spirit. And I find it interesting because now I'll, just, I'll tell you what I did after. So I go to check out and I was gonna try and carry the new backpack with my with my other stuff in, but I've got like a book here. I've got my deck. I've got my flute. I got my water bottle, and I'm like, you know, I don't have I don't have room. So I run it back in, and I see this guy that I've seen everywhere. I see him on the trail. I see him everywhere, and I go, oh my god, I see you everywhere. And he's we've never said hello. And I thought this is stupid. You know, if you're gonna run into somebody constantly, you might as well say hello to them, right? I mean, it's fine when you first get here, but you know, if you see somebody everywhere, it's like you know, at least you're gonna you're gonna say hello to just anybody. Right, and it's so funny because when you're good looking or you're you're look like you're single or whatever, you hesitate. I don't. I say hi to everybody: old people, young people, kids. Right, I talk to them all. 
so he was nice, but he was kind of, you know, quiet. And um, I'm outside trying to get all my stuff into my bed. In my, and I'm like, I can't fit it in, so I throw it in there. And then he comes back out, and he, he walks by me, and he's holding my rabbit. And I said, oh, my God, I almost bought that. I said, I carried, around, I carried that with me around the store for like an hour and a half. And I just put it back. And he goes, I thought it was kind of cute. And I'm like, damn. I said, now I wish I took it. <laughs> uh, and then I said, can I ask you a question? And because I, when I'm looking at him, he's wearing a Ganesh shirt. He's wearing Ganesh. My buddy, I work with Ganesh all the time, right? We are all Ganesh, the obstacle remover, right? Get out of your own way. You're the obstacle. So I'm like, um, well, you're wearing Ganesh. I thought maybe, you know, I figured he might be tapped in to understand at least my language, right? I obviously didn't understand that other guy's language. <laughs> And, uh, and I heard just now it's because he was flirting with you. It, because I wasn't looking at that, right? I'm not looking for that. And when you start talking about my life, my, my purpose here, my path, my, my spirituality, that's not flirting with me. That's my life. That's serious. I take that seriously. So all of a sudden, I'm not thinking about him flirting I'm, and being awkward and doing it really badly or thinking he's all that and doing it on purpose that way. And I look back to what it used to be, how guys used to do that to me. And I would fall for that. Why is it that it makes them feel good to make you feel stupid? Or why would you put another down? It's like, and I thought about that book. Talk to me like I'm someone you love or like I'm someone you're gonna wanna love. Don't talk to me like I'm subservient and you're my master and I need to follow you and I better brush up on classes. That's not love. It's not even funny. So I was just like, huh, did I misunderstand him, right? So, so that guy's standing there, and I said, can I ask you something? I said, he goes, sure. I go, it might sound kind of weird, but not so weird. I don't know. So then I ask him, and I tell him what happened, and he goes, okay. And I said, what do you think that meant? And he goes, I don't know. I don't, I don't quite know what you're asking me. And I said, well, I wasn't sure if he was, like, flirting. He thought he was flirting, and he was just really awkward or inappropriate or if he was just full of ego. And he goes, I don't know. That would be your own discernment. And I thought, and, he, and, and I said, okay, thank you. I, I, and he goes, um, yeah, I don't know. He goes, um, it's just, it just depends on how, how it struck you and what you were feeling and, and you know, what, what you picked up. And I said, okay, all right. I said, I just, you know, sorry. I said, I just kind of thought maybe you would have a different perspective. And he goes, yeah, no worries. And he goes, it wasn't, not too weird. And I said, what, that I asked or that it was said? He goes, either. <laughs> and I said, you're right. And he goes, blessings, have a, you know, he goes, have, have blessings, have a blessed day. And I go, thanks. And then he takes off and I was riding my bike along and I was looking at the two ways of handling this situation, right? Now, maybe it was when, when that man said to me, oh, because he was definitely flirting, the first old guy. Ooh, are you security? You know, I said, yeah, I am, you know, and it's kind of like, yeah. So... I'm wondering, you know, if you want to take it this way, the young guy could have thought, oh, she's talking, you know, light language or whatever, and he doesn't understand, and she's making him feel stupid. Maybe he thought that. Because I said, well, it's just for the people who don't see my 25-foot cell standing here. But, I mean, I don't have to be talking light language to say that. I, I, I'm just talking regular English. You see a five-foot-two person. That's not what energetically is standing in this place, right? And I wasn't being mean. So I don't know what the guy meant. I just know I know that face when you, know, you kind of put the head down and oh, you, you ought to get on that. And little smile, little flirt. And I'm just like, Pfft. flatline. That is not a turn on to an empress. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I wanted to do a reading with you guys. And it was hot. And I'm riding around. And I was going to go home. And, and my bike bell fell off right here. And so I'm like, all right. So I stopped the bike. And I look around. And I thought, I would sit on that rock, but it's pointed at the top. So I thought, okay, this is a kind of cool place to sit because you guys can see all of that, right? And what I wanted to do was, my girlfriend Ashley gave me this flute. So I was, I can't play it very well or at all, but I'm gonna have you guys look up at Thunder Mountain and I'm gonna see what I can do with this. <laughs> all sound, sounds nice to me. Nope, really can't do it. So if you hold your fingers over the holes at the end, 
Those are the deeper ones. Interesting. When I wasn't even trying, it sounded better than that. Okay, that's a message. Don't try so hard, young ones. You sounded way better when you weren't trying. Because <laughs> when you were trying, you, were, you acted like a complete idiot. That's so funny. And a young girl would have been like, oh, he's so cute, he's flirting with me. No, he's putting you down while he's flirting with you because he's trying to establish mastery over you. It's kind of like putting a bite in the back of your neck. I laughed. Anyway, so I was gonna, I'm supposed to go bike riding with my friend John. We're going out to dinner in a little while. And I, I had a deck that, that he used to love. I used to work with all the time. And I said, I said, oh, your deck, remember? Because he wanted me to do a reading for him. And he, got to, he always wants to pick the, pick the uh, cards because he knows it. And he works with, he, was, he has actually been visited by St. Germain and Master Jesus and Lord Shiva. And so this deck is the Ascended Masters and he loves it. And I gave it away a long time ago. And when I came here and it bothered me, I thought, why did I do that? I didn't use it very often. And so I gave it away. It was stupid. So I go to the Goodwill. It was one of the first things I got back was, and it's not, I'm sorry, it's not the Ascended Masters. I still don't have that one back. I need to get that one back. This one is the Archangels. We work with Archangels and Ascended Masters, right? So I want to give you something too, because when he, when he went to, when he, when he, when he had me do the reading, let's, let's give you items to choose from. You can choose from the flirt, the flirt, the flirt. Yeah, that guy, when he was trying too hard, he sounded a lot better. You can play with the flirt, flute. Oh my God, that's what he was. Okay, so that's Pan. He was a flirt. Got it. Okay, so he was flirting. He wasn't trying to be a condescending asshole, although he was a condescending asshole by flirting like that. <laughs> so we'll give him this, right? We'll give this, the instrument that failed miserably, and then we'll give him as Peter Pan, the boy that didn't grow up or hasn't yet. And then we'll use this beautiful tooled leather pouch that my best friend Diane gave me. And this is what I carry my decks in. So one, two, three. And let's use ganache, the obstacle remover, right? Because when you don't do stuff like that, you want to remove a barrier. That's a barrier because it starts things off on a, on a not a good note, right? Spirit said, be careful about the way you talk, like what you say, how you say things. Are you repeating old patterns that are, that are keeping old cycles going, right? That get you really nowhere. Because in all reality, if the person had just said, hey, hi, nice to meet you, that would have gone way over, way over better. But he didn't want that. He wanted, he wanted to be chased around. He just wanted attention, right? It wasn't, he just wanted attention. <laughs> just like the other person had way more class. So as I was riding my bike up here, and about, I was thinking about that whole scenario, everything. And I thought, if I see him again, I'm going to tell him, thank you, because I, I, you did have a different perspective, and I liked it. I liked it a lot, right? It's like, there's really no reason to get upset about it. Why get upset about it? We, it's like many um, teachers, uh, no, many, many paths, one teacher, our father, right? So there's different songs that you sing the same story. You sing it in French, I sing it in English, he sings it in German. So you're doing it a little bit differently, but try and come from a place of love and try and remember, you know, there's a lot of division going on in this country right now. And there's a lot of division energetically that's going on as well. And, and, and we, so there should be, right? You need to know who your tribe is. And when you are made to be put down or feel uncomfortable, that's not your tribe. And when, when, it's, when the subject is warfare in the daytime, when I'd rather focus on love, that's different as well. So, first card came out is you are safe. I like that. Um, the flute, the flirt, the pouch, and the rock that I'm sitting on. No, we already picked something, didn't we? What did we pick? I was looking at my fingers. Ganesh. Ganesh, because Ganesh was on that guy's shirt, too, which showed up. Ganesh is the obstacle remover. Remove the obstacle, right? Remove the obstacle. Don't let it ruin your day and remove the energy. It's negative. We felt it uncomfortable with it. It's negative. Remove that obstacle. So 
we're gonna shuffle these and it's gonna we're gonna start with the flirt <laughs> the flirt thinks he's flirting oh my god okay try not I've got Tammy's stand but we're on a bit of a slope here so let's see if I can hold it up without it heading south there we go correct for neutrality for those who chose the flirt <laughs> I didn't correct for neutrality I didn't even know he was flirting with me <laughs> I really did. I thought, are you putting me down? Are you are you trying to like jump me in class or something? I'm not taught in class, right? And I'm not taught, we're not all taught the same way. We're all taught in many different ways. And I looked at him and he goes, you need to brush up on your, on your knowledge. And I'm like, I forgot to tell you that. And I'm like, um, I know a lot more than you think I know. I know. <laughs> I know a lot more than you, you don't know who you're talking to. I was laughing. Uh -huh. Okay, so for those who chose the flirt, got really windy all of a sudden. We get prosperity. Yay! Prosperity. Archangel Ariel, the angel of finances. Love. Your mat material needs are provided for as you follow your intuition and ma manifest your desires into reality. The color yellow is prominent. Why don't you use the sun at this moment to burn off? any crap or anything that's attached to you that might be causing a block in your very optimistic, happy outcome and outlook, right? You've got to have the outlook in order to have the outcome. There's can be prosperity right in front of you, but you may not even recognize it. So spirit says we're bringing, we're pouring it out to you in every way possible. Friends, knowledge, information, finances, health, sex, everything, we're bringing it to you. Take your hands and put them in front and say, thank you. Yes, I, I, I accept gratefully. Thank you, I accept gratefully, right? Spirit says, we'll work with you in order to make opportunities come forward. And we'll bring you opportunities and we'll let you know that you've got an opportunity. But the, what we're doing is we're wanting you to know that how much we love you and how much you're supported, right? So Archangel Ariel, she is all about magic, spiritual magic. So magic is when something happens like a rabbit gets pulled out of a hat. Bingo presto, right? The magician can just suddenly ma massively make something appear. And that's what her trick is. So she can make something instantly happen for you. Instant miracles. The color that you want to associate with her is actually very soft pink. So if you wear rose quartz or if you hold rose quartz or if you wear that color, like here in the center is that very, very soft pink. It's a gentle, comforting. Think about that. If you were in your bed and it was a soft pink chenille or satin or velvet, you feel soft, comforted, comforted safe, protected, right? It's, it's a nice feeling. It's not an abrasive feeling. That's the love that comes from this archangel, right? So wear those colors, open your heart chakra. Imagine that swelling your heart chakra open and ask her for what you need. And then it's not like it just happens, bing. You'll be guided to the right place. You'll be standing in the right place. You'll be sitting in the right place. You'll go the right, you'll run into the right people. You're asking for something and we're, we're bringing it to you. Okay, for those who chose the flute, whoops, I, I choose the flute even though I don't know how to play it. One day, it won't sound so bad. Correct for neutrality on all of them. Maybe somebody I know will have a trick and they'll show me. Correct for neutrality for those who chose the flute. Look at, did you see these ones coming in for landing? The pair? That was so cool to watch. I don't know if you missed it. I love watching them. They're so freaking cute. <sighs> I'm in the most lush, shady, wonderful garden, right? My, my garden is just so magical. And they have me stop on a dirt road in a back alley. I mean, a gravel road. Look, look where I'm sitting, right? With dry, dusty, and this guy comes home he leaves. I can't see him because his windows are tinted. All I see is his hand waving at me. He's probably wondering what I'm doing here. But Spirit says it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> You've had a brilliant idea? Or your idea is divinely guided? Some idea that you have? Um, Spirit says we want you to take action in regards to it. Bring it to fruition. Your idea is a good idea. What idea did you have that was a good idea? Hmm. What kind of an idea was it? <laughs> Want to tell us? It's a good idea. So you're being supported. 
it's not only just a good idea, it's a brilliant idea. So I'm at this moment not quite sure. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Whoops. <coughs>